So, about this paint we found in your room. Nothing suspicious about it. I used it to, to paint, obviously. Totally normal thing to do. We never said it was suspicious. Come on then, out with it. What exactly are you accusing me of? It's not your paint bot. Did you take it from somewhere else? What on earth? It's definitely mine. I even have proof. Look, the lid matches the ones on all my other paint pots. End of discussion. That's not the end of the discussion. We need a clue to compare with Felix's red paint. Something to prove who it actually belongs to. Let's take a closer look at this. Freya's red paint pot was stolen and replaced with Felix's red paint pot, but the lids were swapped to hide it. That red paint is from Freya's supplies, not yours. Swapping the lids doesn't hide what you did. Why are you bothering me about paint anyway? And none of this is connected to your murder. This red paint pot was somehow filled with blood before Freya used it to paint Flora. Oh, that, uh, that's definitely something. Right, fine. Here's the story. I was busy working on uh, a project when I suddenly realized I had run out of red paint. There was a certain amount of uh, time pressure. So I politely asked Freya if I could borrow hers. Just for a little while, you know, perfectly reasonable request. But she said no. I tried to explain why I needed it, but she didn't seem to care. So, uh, well, I took Freya's red paint pot and swapped it with my own empty one. You went into her room? Not my proudest moment. Uh, but it's just paint. I didn't touch anything it else. Was empty? And the paint pot you left behind was definitely empty? Uh, quite. I have absolutely no idea how it got blood in it, if that's what you're asking. Why were you in such a hurry to get a hold of red paint anyway? I was trying to finish this in time for Flora's birthday. I needed red to paint the final details. 
Could you not have just used a different color? Out of the question. It had to be red and white. If you managed to finish it, why haven't you given it to Flora yet? Ah, uh, well, I decided against it in the end. After what happened, seemed a bit uh, insensitive. Percival Pointer. Yes. Good old... Per so, uh, what do you reckon? Uh, see the murderer? I don't know. Maybe. We still need... That is not information we're willing to share at this time. I'm just saying, keep an eye on him. Holds on to a lot of bitterness, does old Pointer. Just because he's always struggled to support his family. Slightly pathetic, really. And how long have you known him? Over 35 years childhood friends? Rivals? Don't know if I'd do him the honor of considering him my rival. What's this all about? Uh, some kind of rare jewel? I'm pretty sure the research is about a real insect. If it's made of gold, then it's made of gold. <laughs> Why would someone lock up a book like that? We think it's a secret diary. Aha! <laughs> Teenagers are funny, aren't they? I've never seen that before. Looks valuable. Oh dear. Do you know who this is? Not a clue. Goodness me! That looks like it might belong to Fitz. The statue was up in the rooftop garden. Yes, it's been there a while. You can see the brass is slightly tarnished by the elements. But it's not too bad. Uh, might be salvageable. Is that a clue? Really? It might be. Now, this is still in very good condition, <laughs> yeah, apart from the crack, of course. What about those shards on the inside of the horn? Looks like somebody broke a glass and was trying to conceal the evidence. Cunning! Why don't you ask Fiona about that one? Looks like her area of expertise. Buffer? Yes. It's also a lamp, for some reason. So, this painting, specifically that knife in Flora's hand... Yeah, it's creepy. But we didn't find a knife anywhere in the room. So, what's going on? It's not a knife. We need a clue to compare with the painting. Something to explain what that knife shape actually is. to make sense, hey. but no. Mm -hmm. That kind of makes sense. Mm, this guy. 
We'll get to that in a minute. What do you mean, Shelly? We'll get to that in a minute. That's not it. That's not it. We're not ready to do this yet. That's not it. That's not it. We'll get to that in a minute. That's not it. That's not it. Let's take a closer look at this. The painted knife is actually just a bird, which doesn't exist. No. The painted knife is actually just a bird from a fairy tale. No. That's not right. <laughs> the painted knife is actually just a feather from an ink dip bird. It's definitely the right shape, but the book's not in color. The thing Flora's holding in the painting is red and white, specifically. Is there anything to suggest that the ink dip bird is red and white too? Ah, there you go. This little thing? I don't understand why Felix would make a model of this bird as part of a gift for Flora. And come to think of it, why would Flora be holding a feather in the painting anyway? Flora's pet, so she kept a single feather to remember it by. She kept the bird as a pet, and it died? Maybe. Maybe it flew away. Flora spends all her time staring out the window. Either way, she kept the feather. I think it was pretty important to her. Alright, so she was holding the feather while Freya was painting her. But where is it now? You'd think she'd keep it somewhere close by. Yeah, I think she does. Normally. This is where Flora usually keeps her feather. That we opened it. It's empty. Mm-hmm. Completely empty. Flora? You ready to talk now? She's pointing at something in the corner of the room. It's just a pile of books. They're not... Wait, there's something tucked inside this one.
I like these drawings, Flora. Is there a reason why you wanted us to see them? <laughs> Did you ask Freya to paint this, or was it her idea? What is that you're holding in the painting, Flora? Some people have been saying it's a knife. Flora, this is... your egg? Why do you keep it locked? Is there supposed to be something in there, or is it always empty? Is this your gramophone? Do you know why it's cracked? Do you know anything about these birds? Or birds in general? Have you seen this book before? Do you know who it belongs to? I really thought she was going to say something there. This is a photo of Fifi, isn't it? Your daughter? What do you think of your husband's hobby? Do you have any hobbies? You haven't seen this yet, have you? It's a little model of you. Who are the other people next to you? Do you know anything about this beetle? Do you recognize any of these feathers? I like these drawings, Flora. Is there a reason why you wanted us to see them? Anything we should know? Any hobbies? Besides staring out the window? We met Felix, your husband. He's one of our suspects, and he seems pretty suspicious if you ask me. So, if you want to stick up for him, now's your chance. Nice try. <laughs> we spoke to your daughter, Fifi. She's some kind of super intelligent scientist. You must be proud of her. We spoke to Hawkshaw. I assume she didn't get anything out of you either. I bet that really ticked her off. Were you close with Freya? How are you two related? Did you kill Freya? Grimoire! What? I don't even think she's listening. Oh, she's listening. Do you and Fitz have anything to do with each other? Other than your initials. You know the guy in the other tower? Weird astronomy professor guy? Can you see him from your window? Can he see you? What do you know about Penny? I can't really imagine those two being friends, to be honest. You never know. Do you and Poppy get along? Nothing, shocker. Grimoire, what could you possibly be writing down? Oh no, I gave up making notes ages ago. Now I'm just doodling in the margins. <laughs> we already solved it. An empty glass and an empty plate. Looking at it is making me want to cry. Why? I don't know. The door's unlocked. Finally.
a little pond. It looks really, really deep for some reason. See those metal bars around the edges too? Oh yeah, what are you supposed to have for? Nothing anymore. Looks like somebody broke them and then never bothered to fix it. It's a rose bush, growing on a little patch of bluish soil. Now, apart from a couple of loose petals on one side, the whole thing looks very well cared for. The roses are bright red, too. Now, aren't roses normally that color? Exactly. <laughs> the door into Poppy's room. So only Poppy and Fitz can get into the garden? Ah, huh, I guess so. <laughs> the door... So only Poppy... Huh, I guess so. That's one big dragonfly. Or one very small dragon. We already solved it. Why? There's a name for this kind of piano. You know, these ones that stand upright. <sighs> Sheet music, presumably for piano. It's only a few notes. I'd barely even call that music. Yeah, it's been framed though. Must be important for some reason. Various handmade posters. <laughs> what do you think those symbols mean? Hopefully, nothing. <laughs> More handwritten sheet music. A single red rose. How very traditional. Yeah, weird. That is the bed of a vampire. I thought vampires slept in coffins. This is a vampire who needs firm support for their lower back. <laughs> that... I is thought vampires slept this in This is a vampire who needs firm support. Just a bunch of clothes on the floor. Nothing weird about that. To you. Gloomy. But roomy. Anything in the wardrobe? Dresses, mostly. I never realized there are so many shades of black. A lamp. It is most definitely turned off. Empty. It's an octopus. No, it's not. It has six legs, not eight. Don't say it. Sextopus. Oh, my. This is the first piece that Primrose ever learnt on the piano. Uh, Primrose, that is, Poppy's mother. She passed it down to Poppy when she started teaching her how to play. Poppy's piano teacher was her mother? Of course. Warms my heart to know that after everything, Poppy still has it up on her wall. Yes, very nice. Where is that bird of Flora's? It's been a while since I've seen it. What's this? It looks like it might be a telescope. Thought you might know something about it. Well, it certainly is a telescope. It has a part there to screw onto a tripod, you see? It's rather small, though. I'm not sure you could see many stars with it. No, probably not. Curious creature, isn't it? Some sort of amphibious bipedal fish man. Playing a trumpet. Uh, playing a trumpet, yes. I think you may wish to adjust your threshold of what you consider to be a clue. Hey. I've seen those earmuffs before. They're the ones Fitz always wears when he's out the front gardening. Always wears? Whenever I've seen him, yes. What kind of flower is that? We're not sure. I think it might be the only one of its kind. Primrose would know. 
My wife was a floriculturalist. Best in the field. That's a flower joke, but she was. Interesting. Well now, that is most definitely none of my business. Quite possibly none of yours either. What a precious photograph. She hasn't changed a bit, has she? Who? Oh, if you don't know, perhaps I don't either. Oh, you found a murder weapon? Steady on. It's just a gardening trowel. Looks like a weapon to me. A diary can be a wonderful outlet for an outpouring of one's soul. How do you know it's a diary? I suppose I don't, but it does look like a diary. It's a chart of the solar system. Which planet are you from, Sally? It's a chart of the solar system. Which planet? A picture frame. With no picture. It's full of tea. But it's Criminal. Gone. Eh, it's tidier than my desk. Oh, the notebook is untouched. It's completely blank. So? Even the most well-used notebooks start off blank. We already solved it. A bell jar. It's what empty. do people normally keep in bell jars? Other than bells, you mean? Trinkets. Uh, they're clearly gizmos. What is it? Ah, it's uh, clearly some kind of large device. <laughs> You're not wrong. Not wrong ah, at all. It's too cloudy. It's also daytime. Pretty. Every astronomy tower needs a telescope. I want to try. Oh, you can see Flora. You can see right into Flora's room. Not by accident. I can see Flora, but she's not looking this way. She's looking up. Behind her is the back side of the easel holding Freya's unfinished painting. I can't really see anything behind it. Not from this angle. I can see the doorway. It leads into the hall. The door itself is on the floor, knocked off its hinges. It's that little plant Flora keeps on the window ledge. Don't you think it would fall off I in the wind? Maybe it's glued down. It's the tower opposite this one. Is that a window? I think it is. Is there another room above Flora's room? We should check that next time we're over there. I can just about see the gramophone. It's the tower opposite this one. You can see right Not back behind her. Can't Isn't this supposed to be an astronomy telescope? I'm pretty sure you need to see the sky for astronomy to work. I can't move it. I think this is just how it's set up. There's something about Pointer's astronomy. Something suspicious. Let's ask him about it. So, Professor, what interests you about astronomy exactly? It's not a matter of being interested. Once you expand your mind to the wider universe, it cannot be unexpanded. Mm hmm. And how long have you been an astronomer? I really don't like to give exact values unless I'm sure I can quantify them. Convenient. Mm -hmm. Why like do you ask me these things? I have a theory about you, Professor. Oh? Go on. Literally quantify time. You're not really interested in astronomy at all. What could you possibly mean by that? I think you're interested in a slightly different field of research. Both.
That's not it. Oh, that's not it. Sure, sure. I don't have time for tiny, insignificant insects. My studies focus only on the inconceivably large and the unimaginably far away. Right. That's why you like using your telescope so much. Yes, naturally. My little portal into another world. Yeah, about that. Pointer's telescope was actually looking at the crime scene and not up at the sky. First you accuse me of being a lowly entomologist. Now you're accusing me of, uh, what, spying? Yes. Are you spying? Why would I need to spy on Flora? Why? Because you lost your golden beetle specimen and it's made you paranoid. You think somebody stole it from you. Might not have been Flora you were spying on. Might have been Freya. It's... you... it's a very precious specimen! Incredibly rare! Valuable in ways you could never understand. Freya was always sneaking around, both towers and in the gardens too. She was definitely up to something. So, this next question is important. You were looking to Flora's room around the time of the murder. Did you witness the crime, Professor? No, I didn't. When I looked into the room, Flora was already lying on the floor. Flora? Flora? You mean Freya? No, Flora. She was lying by the window. I couldn't see Freya at all. It was fairly dark. The telescope isn't at a very good angle. That's why I decided to head over there myself. I needed to know what was going on. This changes your statement, doesn't it? No, everything I told you in my statement was true. Apart from the reason you left your tower in the first place. Right. Let's go over what we know about the crime scene. Freya was definitely up to something. to do with the statue in the garden, I think. Maybe we should go back and check. And we could have missed something. We know a little more about the crime scene now. So, what do you think? Was Freya stabbed by her own painting? ink dip feather no, was designed to match a real knife to hide the evidence. Nope.
Blood from the paint pot was used to paint over the painted ink dip feather to hide the evidence. That's not right. What would it be the real life? Blood from the paint pot was used to paint over the painted ink dip feather to resemble a bloody knife. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Blood from the paint pot was used to paint <laughs> over the painted flora to resemble a bloody knife. That's not right either. Blood from the paint pot was used to paint over the painted ink dip feather to hide the evidence. That's not right either. Okay, I put your snow on. Right. Blood from the paint pot was used to paint over the painted ink dip feather to resemble a bloody knife. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Perhaps Freya painted the blood onto the painting itself. Paint from the paint pot no, was used right. to paint over the painted ink dip feather to resemble a bloody knife. That's not right either. Okay, so Blood from the paint pot I was know. used to paint the red tip of the painted ink dip feather to resemble a bloody knife. I think you're right. Can't decide if I'm disappointed or relieved. I have a question. Why? Either it's a very strange coincidence. Or somebody set it up. Somebody deliberately put blood in the paint pot and hid that feather after the crime. Why? To distract us? Possibly. Well, it worked. Possibly. Flora's the only person who could have hidden the feather, unless someone took it from her. Let's go over what we do know. The door was locked the whole time. It stayed locked until Fitz kicked it down. Normally, it can only be opened from the inside. Pointer said he couldn't see Freya from his telescope, but he did see Flora lying by the window. So whatever got Freya, got Flora too? Except Flora survived. She didn't get a stab wound like Freya did. Hold on. If there was no knife, then what did stab Freya? Uh, it could be anything. It might not even be important. How is it not important? Right now, I'm less interested in the what, and more interested in the how. The angle of Freya's wound suggests she was stabbed at a perfect right angle. That is, from directly in front of her. But she was standing right up by the canvas. Somehow, Freya ended up lying on her back, still perfectly in line with a painting. Maybe something went through it. Through the painting? Wouldn't that leave a hole? Okay, well, how about this? How do we know Freya was stabbed before she fell over? Maybe her being stabbed and her falling over are completely unrelated. <laughs> this wasn't here before. What is it? It's a little wooden toy. It looks kind of like a crab. There's a note stuck to the back. What does it say? Grimoire? 
but you're not alone. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is it really from her? How can it be? Why don't we check the handwriting with Freya's diary? Good idea. Hold on. Well? It's a perfect match. Well, it's confirmed. We have a ghost helping us. <laughs> Let's keep this to ourselves for now. What about the little wooden toy thingy? Maybe we can put it to some kind of use.